Hey, so Lori Marketing. Lori Marketing. Hey, fam, well, I'm, I'm, I'm about to tell you this. It's, it's, it might be time to pack your bags. It might be time to pack your bags because your replacement has arrived. Has arrived. If y'all didn't hear by now, well, if, if you're a Bulls fan, I'm, I'm, I'm guaranteeing you, you probably should have heard that the the foreigner from overseas, Marco, I, and, and, and forgive me on this, I'm finna butcher his name, Simonovich is lucky, likely to sign with the Chicago Bulls. Draft and stash prospect, Marco Simonovich. He cannot, now he cannot officially sign with the Bulls until next month, but it appears likely that he'll make the jump to the NBA next season. Um, and he has he, he posted a, a Instagram post that um, displayed a picture of him sitting um, I'm, I'm beside I'm, I'm, who I'm guessing is his agent. And it said it simply just said one way ticket to Chicago. So, so um, you know, and, and two, you know, it's not certain what type of contract the six, this six eleven, um, um, you know, Ford is, is going to be signing with the club. Um, you know, we, we could possibly use cap room, or we can use an exception to bring him aboard, depending on how you know off season plays out. Um, and as you may remember, he was selected number forty four, twenty twenty draft. The 21-year-old center played in Serbia this year for Mega Basket in the ABA Adriatic League. He averaged 15.7 points per game and 9.1 rebounds a game and 31.6 minutes per game over 25 games. He shot 47.3% overall and 34.9% on his three-point attempts. And with with the signing for, for, for the Bulls, this clearly um, six signals that Marketing is possibly on his way out, as as we as Bulls fans knew, you know, especially after this, um, after this last season, that you know he was gonna probably be in our future plans, and we was probably gonna be looking to move on. And I just think this move kind of heightens that a little bit. I don't necessarily know if it's a nail in the coffin of Lori Mark Marketing, but I think the, but I definitely do think that this definitely heightens um, and signals that marketing is probably gone. Um, also, too, this signals to me that I, I, I think I heard somewhere, I don't know where, I can't remember, but I heard somewhere that this is probably, um, that this probably means that we probably, honestly, do not plan on resigning Daniel Tice as, um, you know, he is a free agent this summer. And when Daniel Tice is going to get his money, Daniel Tice is going to get paid. So, you know, I, I heard that, you know, the, the Bulls, as far as Daniel Tice goes, it looks like he's kind of out, out out of our budget. So you know, what better way to 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 bring over this this, this Euro, Euro European now and throw him in the fire, like in a sense, you know, um, you know, why, why like you know waste waste them over there, you know, overseas, if, you know, especially if you really if you really want to come come over here. So 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 you know, so I just I just wanted to say on that and and. Basically, you know, like like I mentioned before, you know, this this just tells us that 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 marketing is gone, and we probably not gonna re, re, uh, resign um, Daniel, Daniel Tice, and and of course Cristiano for um, Lee Show is definitely gone as he is a free agent. I mean, but I don't think nobody was 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 gonna be crying about that. <laughs> I think nobody cared that Cristiano that that this is Cristiano. Felicio last year. I, 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 any Bulls fan, or any same Bulls fan, I don't think anybody cared about Chris, Chris, and Felicia. I'm just, I'm just saying, no, nobody cared. But, but yeah, but yeah, that's that's pretty much going to be it for me. I just wanted to, to you know, let let you guys know what what this means for for the Chicago Bulls and what what this means, you know, for what our roster might be looking like going, um, you know, going through this off season. And I'm excited. You know, we're going to make, make some big moves. Trusting AK and Mark Evsley. Trust them. You know, um, and now, you know, it, then too, it remains to be seen, you know, if, if you know, when the season started, if he's going to be, like, on the roster or we're going to kind of flip-flop him through, you know, through, throughout the G League. But, you know, I watch, you know, his, his highlights, I mean, he, he looks solid. You know, he, he looked like a... Honestly, he just looked like a better version of marketing, or, or potentially could be. So, so, so yeah, we'll 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 um see. You know, I'm happy to see what um he, he looks like. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it for me. Like like I always, like I always say, 
like it comment subscribe on the video it's free it's simple it's free i'm not i'm not i'm not, I'm not asking for not asking for nothing else i'm not asking to, <laughs> to to pay for one of my courses or or you know trying to sell something like you know maybe some other youtubers um maybe i'm just simply asking for a like and a subscribe like 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 and subscribe and comment too you know, I love um, having dialogue with, with, you know, former Chicago Bulls fans. So, you know, so yeah, comment, yeah. And that's going to be it. We out.